Hey guys, it's Bethany with ABQ Creations here with another pattern tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you how to make the sweetheart hat. This has quickly become one of my favorite creations ever as it combines two colors woven through the fabric. This is a beginner to intermediate pattern, but if you're not familiar with using color changes, I recommend that you just complete the hat in one color to make it more beginner friendly. For this project, you will need scissors, a crochet hook in size five millimeter, a needle for weaving in your ends, yarn. You will need a thinner worsted weight for the body of the hat. I used Pound of Love yarn by Lion Brand. And for the hearts, I used Impeccable yarn. Optional is a fur topper and a button to fasten it on. Because this is such a lengthy tutorial, this will be part one of two parts. I will upload the second part as soon as I can. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay up to date on all of my current projects and tutorials. Let's get started. Working in your back bump only, you're going to slip stitch all the way across starting in the second chain from the hook. Chain one, turn your work. And this is where the pattern repeat will start for your brim. You're going to work in the back loop only all the way across and you're going to slip stitch. And so you're going to do that for every row. You'll chain one at the end of the row, turn your work, and then slip stitch all the way across again in the back loop of every stitch. And you do this for as long as you would like the brim to be. So you'll fit it around your head to kind of see where it needs to be size wise. And I'll let you know how many I end up with after I get back. Okay, so I have worked up 46 ribbing on each side, which would equal 92 rows of ribbing total. So you might have more or less depending on the size of your head, but I was able to just stretch this enough so that it fit all the way around my head. Okay, so once you complete that, we're going to join by first inserting into the back loop of our hook. Make sure it's not twisted and you want to work right into this top loop here. So you don't want to go way in front and you don't want to go way in the back. You're just going to go right into the top of the loop there and we're going to slip stitch those together. So with the next stitch, you're going to insert your hook into the back loop, and then you're going to go into this top stitch here, the top of the loop, and slip stitch. So continue that all the way across. Once we get all the way across, we're going to chain two. And that first chain two is going to count as your first double crochet. 
So we now need to pick up, have 70 stitches all the way around, 70 double crochet stitches. Um, however, we'll do 69 more because this one counts as our first stitch. So in order to pick up, uh, and because I have 46 rows, you're going to be placing in more than just the front ribbing. You'll add a few into the center, but you want to try to just evenly place 70 stitches total around the brim of your hat. pick up like this and I like to cross this through as I finish off that top of that double crochet so you can wait till the end and weave in your end if you would like this is just how I prefer to do it So now we want to slip stitch. I've completed my 69 extra double crochets and I have my first chain two. So I'm going to slip stitch to the top of my chain two stitch. Now instead of chaining here, we're going to actually start with a back post single crochet. It just gives it a slightly neater look as we're working up and I'll show you what I mean. So this is kind of tricky here right at the beginning, but you pull up your loop and then yarn over and pull through both. Now we're going to chain two and this will give it the illusion of being a back post double crochet. Okay, so now we're going to do nine back post double crochets. And actually, I'm going to switch over to my red yarn for all of my hearts. This is optional. If you want to just keep the same color, you will not need to follow this step. So before you, when you're working on your ninth back post double crochet for this first row, you want to actually stop halfway. So you want to start your back post double crochet and then before you yarn over and pull through the last two loops, you want to stop and pick up your new color. This will give it a smoother transition if you finish this stitch with your red. Okay, so now I'm going to tie this on here. Okay, 
thing and I'm going to carry my gray yarn across. I'm going to carry my yarn across for my whole work. You can do this a couple of ways. You could have bobbins going for each heart and there will be five total. I don't feel like carrying that much yarn so I'm just going to just carry my gray and my red straight across and keep it simple. Okay, so the next stitch that you have to do, and this is where your pattern repeats for the row. So starting at this point is the start of the repeat for the row. We're going to do a front post double crochet into this next stitch with our red. And then we're gonna chain one. And we're gonna do another front post double crochet around that same post. And again, instead of finishing off this stitch, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop our red to the back. And now we're gonna be working with our gray again. So we're gonna bring our gray up and I'm gonna weave in that stitch, or weave in that end at the end. Okay. So I've just switched over. So now we're gonna continue on and do 13 back post double crochets and then we're going to switch to our red and do another start of a heart. So do your 13 back post double crochets and again you're going to want to carry your yarn so it gets a little bit tricky here. I'm going to work like this and see how I crossed over that yarn just to kind of be a placeholder. and we're just gonna keep working like this. So I'm going in front of the yarn for this one to get into that stitch, but then I'm leaving this on top and I'm just gonna cross this gray over it to hold it into place. So see, you can't really even see that red. You won't be able to see too much of it after your hat is worked up. So go ahead and do your 13 back post double crochets. So when you get to your 13th stitch, you're gonna start to close it off, but again, you're gonna leave the last two loops on your hook. Then you wanna kind of take your red and pull it just a little bit so that it kind of tightens it down, but you wanna make sure you still leave it so that it can stretch with your hat. So don't have it be too tight so that your tension is completely pulling. So you don't want it too loose where this, the yarn is just puffing out and you don't want it too tight where you can't stretch your hat. Okay, so what we're gonna do, just make sure that that's nice and good. Okay, so now I'm picking up my red and I'm going to close off that stitch. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start my repeat all over. So I'm gonna do a front post double crochet into this next stitch. I'm gonna chain one. I'm going to do a second front post double crochet into this stitch and then instead of closing off that second stitch I'm going to drop my yarn, bring my gray up, and close it off. So continue that and do your next 13 back post double crochets while carrying your red straight across. Okay so you can see that I still have some stretch to my hat. You can see the red if you turn it like this but once you have all your stitches in place and it pushes it like this you're really not going to be seeing the red in between. It'll, it'll be barely noticeable. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close off this stitch with my gray, tighten this down, and then I am going to finish with three back post double crochets. down and then loosen it back up to get that tension correct.
for row two. We want to we want to finish this actually by slip stitching again to the top of our chain two. And then we're going to do our back post single crochet. And I'm just going to kind of hold the red off for now. We're not going to do anything with it on this one. But do your back post single crochet and then chain two. And now we're going to move on to the next round. So for our second row, we're going to start with seven back post double crochets and we're going to carry the red again. Now what we want to do is we want to do a back post double crochet decrease over the next two stitches. And again, we're going to um, end with switching our color. So, and don't get it mixed up with your, your red tail if you haven't stitched that in yet. So we're going to start our back post double crochet decrease. And then we're going to yarn over and enter into the next stitch. Now, instead of pulling through all three loops, we're gonna loops, we're gonna make sure that the tension is good for our red. And then we're gonna drop the gray, pick up our red, not the tail. We're gonna yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, then we're going to, and this is where that repeat will start. So with your red, you're going to do a front post double crochet around this first red loop, or red post I should say, and then you're going to double crochet into your chain one chain space, chain one, do another double crochet into the chain one chain space, and then do a, double cro a front post double crochet around the next stitch, but stopping when you're halfway. So again, we're going to drop our red, pick up our gray, and close that off. So again, we're going to carry our red. So we're going to go and do a back post double crochet decrease. Just like that. Okay, and now we're gonna follow that up with nine back post double crochets, and then we're gonna do another back post double crochet decrease, and then we're gonna start all over with our repeat again. So we'll do our front post, we'll have it switch to red at the end of that decrease, and then we're gonna um, do a front post double crochet, uh, double crochet into the chain space, chain one, double crochet in chain space and then a front post double crochet, switching over to your gray, and then doing your decrease and your stitches. So continue on with that pattern. So here's our nine back post double crochets. Then you're going to do your back post double crochet decrease. And this is when you're going to switch over to your red. Okay. So go ahead and finish that pattern all the way across. And I will meet back with you once this round is done. To 
finish off the end, we're going to do our back post double crochet decrease. And then we're going to end round two with a back post double crochet. Slip stitch to the top of your chain two. Do a back post single crochet. So again, we're gonna just leave the red down for this so it doesn't get in our way. It's a complicated enough stitch. Now we're going to chain two. And for round three, we want to do eight back post double crochets to start. We'll get our red back up here now. And on your eighth one, again, we're going to end with two loops still on our hook of the gray yarn. So with your gray on your hook, you're going to finish with those last two loops. You're going to do your switch to your red. And then we're going to do two front post double crochets. And then we're going to do a double crochet into your chain space, chain one, do another double crochet into the same chain space. Do two more front post double crochets and switch to your gray at the end of the second one. So we're going to put our red in back, pick up our gray. We're now going to do 11 back post double crochets and then we're going to repeat that till the end. So we'll start with our heart, do our 11 back post double crochets, and so on until the end of the round. Again, on your 11th stitch, you're going to switch over to your red yarn before you complete the stitch. Continue on till the end of the round. So at the end of your round three, you're just going to do two back post double crochets with your gray. So I already did one, and there's my last stitch. Slip stitch to the top of your chain two. Do your back post single crochet. Kind of tighten those down and go ahead and chain two. For row four we're gonna start with six back post double crochets.
and then we're going to do a back post double crochet decrease and change to our red at the end of it. But always be sure before you pass over and do the red, you want to pull it tight so that you get rid of those um, extra bumps. And then you want to give it some stretch to bring some of the tension, to loosen some of that tension again. That's very, very important with this pattern. Okay, so now we switch to the red. I tighten down my gray. For our pattern repeat, it's going to start here again. We're going to do three front post double crochets. And I'm not carrying my gray. I'm carrying my gray, but I'm not stitching it down here. You can do either, but I just have it run across because it'll kind of tuck in because the heart's going to stick out but the option is totally up to you. It's whatever your preference is. You know, as I get higher up the heart, then I might try to lock that in a little bit, but we'll see how this goes. All right, so then we're gonna do our double crochet into our chain space. Chain one, double crochet in the same chain space, and do three front post double crochets and change back to your gray at the end of the third one. So next we're gonna do a back post double crochet decrease. We're going to do seven back post double crochets. We're going to end our repeat with a back post double crochet decrease, switching over to our red. So again, you can see how it's all puffy, but when you pull it tight, it all just kind of disappears. It's so cool. And then loosen that back up. So go ahead and finish that pattern. Keep repeating until the end. With round four, you're going to end with a back post double crochet decrease. I already did mine. So you're gonna go ahead and do a slip stitch to the top of the chain two. Then you're gonna do a back post single crochet. chain two. Okay, for round five, we're going to start with seven back post double crochets. And on your seventh stitch again, you want to finish with switching your color. So now what we want to do, and again, this is where the repeat will begin for this round. You want to do two front post double crochets into the next stitch. So there's one and two. Then you want to do three front post double crochets.
then you're going to put three double crochets into this chain space. And on the middle one, I'm going to kind of lock in the gray now. So I'm going to start my double crochet. in the gray so it's kind of awkward and then I'm gonna go right back I'm gonna push it push it to the back and I'm gonna do my third double crochet in there so it should be nice and hidden but it'll just help me pull it up okay and then I'm going to do three front post double crochets And then do two front post double crochets into the next stitch, changing over to your gray on the second. So with the gray, you don't want to pull it too tight either because you don't want it to be um, so constricting it pulls your heart like this. So just make sure you kind of keep that loose for this one. And now for your repeat, you just want to do nine back post double crochets in between each heart. Switch over to your red on the ninth stitch. And then repeat your pattern. So put two front post double crochets into the first stitch, do three front post double crochets, then do three double crochets into your chain space, followed by three front post double crochets and then two more front post double crochets onto the other side to keep it even. Switching over to your gray and then doing your back post double crochets. You're gonna finish off row five or round five with a back post double crochet. Then we're going to slip stitch to our beginning, a top of our chain two at the beginning. Start with your back post single crochet. So now this round will be the exact same for the next two rounds. So chain two, okay so this will be round six and seven. So we're going to start with seven back post double crochets, carrying the red over. And then on your seventh stitch again, we're gonna switch over to our red. So you'll have to be careful not to get this one tangled that's back here. But we'll show you how to work with that. Okay, so switch over to your red, tighten it down, make sure you're carrying this one across. Okay, so we're going to do our 13 front post double crochets. Again on the seventh stitch though, I'm going to carry over this gray. You just cross it to the front, finish with your red, cross it back to the back, 
and continue on with your front post double crochets. So it just locks it in. You really can't see it once your project is complete. So that was the beginning of the repeat for the round. So start with the beginning of the heart and do your 13 front post double crochets and then work your way across. So then next up in the repeat, we're gonna do nine back post double crochets. And you'll work all the way across. And again, you're gonna to wanna to end with that one back post double crochet. So do this for the next two rounds and then I will meet back with you. I just finished rows six and seven, and I ended with a back post double crochet after switching back to my gray. Slip stitch to the top of your chain two. Do a back post single crochet. And chain two. For row eight, we're going to do seven back post double crochets. Switch over to your red. Make sure you pull it tight first and then loosen it up again. This is where the repeat will begin. You will start with a front post double crochet decrease. followed by two front post double crochets. And another front post double crochet decrease. Now on this one, you're gonna have to switch to your gray. So we're gonna start it off and then we're gonna finish with our gray. And then for this, we're going to do a back post double crochet with our gray. And again, we're going to um, switch back to our red to finish this one off. And then we're gonna do a back post, I'm sorry, a front post double crochet decrease. Followed by two front post double crochets. And one more front post double crochet decrease, changing up to the gray at the end. And you can see the heart starting to form.
Next, we're going to do nine back post double crochets. <clears throat> and then we're going to repeat that pattern. And then change back to your red and start repeating your pattern from the beginning of this heart stitch. I will meet back with you at the end of the round. I just finished row eight and I did, I finished it with one back post double crochet. So now we're going to slip stitch into the top of our chain two. And for row nine, we're gonna do a back post single crochet. Chain two, do seven back post double crochets. And on your seventh one again, we're going to switch over to our red. So we're gonna pull it tight, loosen it up, switch to your red. Okay, now we're going to do two front post double crochet decreases in a row. And on your second front post double crochet decrease, you're going to switch over to your gray yarn again. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do a back post double crochet and then we're going to chain one and we're going to do another back post double crochet around the same stitch. And after you do your second one, we're going to drop our yarn and we're going to pick up the red again. And then do two back post double crochet decreases. And on the second one, change back to your gray yarn. Lots of dog hairs in my work today, sorry about that. So I'm going to change back to my gray. And pull down on the red. And now for the rest of the repeat you just want to do nine back post double crochets and then we're going to start all over with the beginning of the heart and repeat that all the way around ending with our back post double crochet. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, this is part one of a two part series. I will have the second part available shortly. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me down below and let me know what you think of this newest creation. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.